Okay, in this video we're going to talk about how to factor out a greatest common factor, or GCF. Um, and we're basically just going to do a bunch of problems. So this is a skill you're going to use from Algebra 1, Algebra 2, all the way up through Calculus, so you got to get good at it. So let's take a look. Um, the first problem that we have is uh, 14a to the 10th times b to the 4th minus 16a to the 7th times b to the 9th. And this one's pretty straightforward, because there's three types of things. There are numbers, um, there are a to certain powers, and then there's b to certain powers. So we're going to deal with each of those kind of separately. So we're going to write equals, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to deal with uh, the numbers. So 14 and negative 16, greatest common factor there is 2. So I'm going to take out a 2. Um, now I move on to the things that have a. So I have a to the 10th and a to the 7th. So when you're factoring out of these, you always take um, the lowest power that you see. So that would be a to the 7th. So I'm going to take a to the 7th out of both of them move on to the b's. So I got b to the 4th and b to the 9th. And again, I'm going to take out the lowest power that I see, so that's b to the 4th. So b to the 4th. And then what you do, so that's the greatest common factor. We went through every type of thing. So now you're going to put a parenthesis and figure out what's left over. So from this first thing here, so remember, when you're factoring something out of a number or out of a, an expression, uh, what you're really kind of doing is dividing it up. So uh, I took a 2 out of 14, so 14 divided by 2 is 7, so that's what's left. I took a to the 7th out of a to the 10th, so what's left is just a to the 3rd. I took b to the 4th out of b to the 4th, what's left there is 1, so I'm not going to write anything. Now I move on to the second part, so negative 16 divided by 2 is negative 8. a to the 7th divided by a to the 7th, because that's what I took out, is just 1, so I'm not going to write anything. And then b to the 9th divided by b to the 4th is b to the 5th. So I'm going to write that and then close the parentheses. That's actually all you can do in this problem. So uh, let's move on and take a look at something that looks more complicated but really isn't. So it looks like this. We've got the quantity 3x minus 8 to the 6th times the quantity 2x plus 3 to the 4th minus the quantity 3x minus 8 to the 5th times the quantity 2x plus 3 to the 5th. So we've got really just two types of things. We have 3x minus 8, and we have 2x plus 3s. So to make this look a little simpler, what some people will do is replace those. So I'm going to say let a equal 3x minus 8, and b is going to equal 2x plus 3. So if I do this, I can now rewrite the original. So I'm going to replace every 3x minus 8 with a, every 2x plus 3 with uh, b. So I do that. So I end up with a to the 6th, b to the 4th, minus a to the 5th times b to the 5th. This looks a lot like the last problem that we just did. So I have A type of things and I have B type of things. So I'm going to go equals. Uh, I can take out A to the fifth because that's the smallest power of A in either thing. And then B to the fourth is the smallest power of B, so I'm going to take that out. Now I've taken out all the A type of things, all the B type of things, so I do parentheses and see what's left over. So I took A to the fifth out of A to the sixth. That leaves me with just A to the first, which we just write A. And then I took b to the 4th out of b to the 4th, which leaves me with 1, so we don't write anything. Then it's going to be minus. I took a to the 5th out, so there's just a 1 left for that. And then I took b to the 4th out of b to the 5th, which leaves me with just b. And that's it, so I'm going to close the parentheses. But then, I want to go back to the original, right? Because a was really 3x minus 8, b is really 2x plus 3. So I'm going to replace every a and b that I see with those values. So I get this. And then it's really important here, when you replace um, these A and B, uh, I always put them in parentheses. Basically, every time I replace A or B, I put it in parentheses. So I'm going to have parentheses, 3x minus 8, then minus parentheses, 2x plus 3. So this is going to help me remember to distribute that negative sign, or whatever's there, but I mean, in this case, it's a negative. So I get this again, 3x minus 8 to the fifth, 2x plus 3 to the fourth. And then here I have 3x minus 2x is just x, and I have negative 8 minus 3 is negative 11, and that's all I can do. Okay, I'm going to do one more problem, which will show you why you kind of solve these, uh, use this process. So we really want to do this to actually solve equations. So we have 6, quantity 3x minus 2 to the 4th, 6x plus 1 to the 3rd, minus 9, 3x minus 2 to the 5th, and then 6x plus 1 squared equals zero. So I'm just going to factor that left-hand side. I'm not going to do the thing with a and b. I'm just going to kind of go for it. So the first thing I do is I look and I see the constant term. So I have 6 and negative 9. I know that I can take a 3 out of both of those. I have 3x 
minus 2 to the 4th, and I have 3x minus 2 to the 5th. The smallest power is to the 4th, so I'm going to take that out. So there. I have 6x plus 1 to the 3rd, and 6x plus 1 to the 2nd. The smallest power is to the 2nd, so I'm going to take that out. So I get 6x plus 1, and I'm taking it out to the 2nd. Now, I took out um, the constant, I took out from the 3x minus 2s, I took out from the 6x plus 1s, so now I'm going to open a parenthesis and see what's left over. If I take 3 out of 6, I'm left with 2, so I'm looking at this just first term, which I underlined there, so if I take uh, 3 out of 6, I'm left with 2. If I take 3x minus 2 to the 4th out, I'm just left with 1. If I take 6x plus 1 squared out, I'm left with 1 6x plus 1, which I'm putting in parentheses because that won't screw up my distribution. Now I'm going to look at the second thing, this whole thing. I took a 3 out of negative 9, which leaves me with negative 3. I took 3x minus 2 to the 4th out of 3x minus 2 to the 5th, so I'm left with only one of those. So it's 3x minus 2 to the 1st. And then I actually took out 6x plus 1 squared, so that just leaves me with 1. I'm going to close the parentheses, and all this is equal to 0. This step is just going to be to kind of clean up. So what I'm going to do is, inside this last parenthesis, I'm going to distribute a lot. So 2 times 6x is 12x, 2 times 1 is 2, negative 3 times negative, uh, negative 3 times 3x is negative 9x, and negative 3 times negative 2 is 6, and that equals 0. And a couple more steps here, so clean up this. I'm going to collect like terms in parentheses here. So I have 12x minus 9x is 3x. I got 2 plus 6 is plus 8, and that equals 0. And now to actually solve, I just look through it and see what each factor um, set equal to 0 would give me. So from this one, I get x equals 2 thirds. From this, I get x equals negative 1 sixth. And from this, I get x equals negative 8 thirds. And so those are my answers. All right, that's the whole process. I hope you found this helpful, and good luck.